Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a small plan with me in my mini happy planner. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. So if you missed it, and I'm sorry, let me rewind. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and welcome back, if you're returning, I truly appreciate your love and support. And okay, now I'm so excited. <laughs> so anyway, if you watched my last video, then you know that I purchased this mini happy planner from Joann's and I've already made a few changes to it and I'm still waiting for some other parts to come in so when those come in then I will probably do a third video just with like an update and a flick through so the before when I bought it it came with I think they were blue discs I'm pretty sure they were blue like the plastic ones so I just switched them out for the gold metal ones I added a pocket here that's from my shop and then this is the May card from cloth and paper this is a piece of vellum that I, or not vellum, acetate that I have from Simply Gilded, and I just cut it down and punched it. This cute little name sticker came from an order that I bought for, a, it was actually for candles. And I was super excited when I found it because I totally forgot that I found it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you because it's Candles by Chris. Um, and when you purchase from her, you do get the get cute little stickers. Mine happened to come with a name sticker. And so when I found it, I figured the purple was really pretty and it matched with the theme of this planner. So that is from Candles by Chris. Then of course, you know, this part comes from the Happy Planner. I haven't added anything to here as of yet. I have my Ollie Clip, of course, that I purchased from Etsy. This pen, I don't really know what they're called. But they come from Amazon and I absolutely love them. They write very, very well. Then in the back, I added another pocket from my shop. And these clear stickers that I got from Cloth and Paper and a couple of their subscription boxes. And that is what I have done so far. So for this quick little plan with me, I'm going to just do the May monthly. And I have decided for May, I am going to be using the stickers from Cloth and Paper. So May is Teacher Appreciation Month. And although I am technically no longer a teacher, I am still working with the school system and I am training teachers. So it's still fitting. And I have these super cute teacher stickers from um, also paper co that I have never used so I'm gonna go ahead and add these in then I will be traveling to finally get to go see my baby boy so I'm gonna use this super cute sticker from also paper co literally all my stickers that I'm using for this are from also paper co so I'm not gonna keep saying that then I have these birthday stickers because there are a couple this month and I have obviously a day off and then a couple payday stickers. So I'm gonna just keep this very, I guess kind of minimal because I don't really want to like overwhelm the page just because it gets like, for me, it gets extremely overwhelming if I add too much deco. So one moment, because I do want to grab some washi those out. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Man, I haven't done a planner in so long with deco that I forgot what I needed. So I just pulled this blue with white diamond, diamond, blue with white heart washi out just because I felt like it was cute and it just goes along with the bright colors, but isn't like obstructive to anything. So anyway, I just wanted like a basic washi nothing too exciting 
And then I'll go ahead and just use this ruler to cut it. So, one of the things about this that I absolutely love is literally I have not gotten to play with washi and stickers in forever because the pocket, because it is so tiny, I really just left it to be more of a functional planner and not cute but i ain't gonna lie i miss the cute like <laughs> i miss the cute i'm tired of just always just having like icons or dots or whatever like it's nice to be able to put some stickers in because that was really why i started planning in the first place was so that i could play with stickers because stickers are fun and now i have like a million stickers and I have so many rolls of washi because I was getting that Simply Gila subscription box and I, it just sits here like my apartment is too small <laughs> to just have things sitting around so this will be a good opportunity for me to use some of my stash and I really hope that I can function with this mini size because it'll just make life a lot easier if I can. All right, so that's enough for here. Just adds a little extra pop of color. And then, uh-oh, oh, whoa, snap. Well, that's cool. I thought I ripped it. All right. Never seen this before. It has like a clear back. All right, it was so paper cut. I need to get back with him because I haven't bought stickers from her in so long. All right, so this sticker is huge. So I might have to actually cut their feet off a little bit just so I can fit them. But I don't want to completely cover up those dates. But you get the point. All right. Sorry, little feet. <laughs> That's okay. You get the point. So that is so cute. All right. So I have them here. I know there's a birthday on the 16th. This is actually my son's birthday and my brother's birthday. So I'm gonna put that there. Then I know I am off on the 30th Memorial Day. And I know, well, the traveling girl should go here because I'll be leaving out on Saturday, but I think I'm actually going to put it, uh-oh, if I can get it off. Come on. These nails do not want me to be great today. Oh, and you guys, I apologize if you hear any extra noise in the background. Like, I typically do not do videos when my husband and my neighbors are all home, but I have to because I keep getting off schedule. And yeah, I just need to do better. So sorry in advance. So anyway, I'm going to put the little traveling girl over here and then I'll just put like my flight information for leaving and returning over here just to kind of have like the note for that travel because that's probably the most important thing that I have going on for the month of May and it'll be easier for me to find it if it's not like in the mix of everything else so and then I know that I got paid on all right let's see it's so funny when you switch jobs like just randomly because then you have to figure out a new your new pay schedules. But I get paid again for May. 
Let me see. All right, so it would be the 18th, 29th, the 13th, and the 27th. <clears throat> so I will add the 13th. <laughs> and oh no the 27th won't fit well that's okay it'll remind me that just two weeks from there i get paid again that's okay and then i think that is about it for stickers so oh wait no i need one more and these are the sorority girls stickers from my shop i totally forgot but i do know that we have a chapter meeting on that day so we will add that on all right and that is about it I think for now and I will go ahead and add some more stuff to this but um yeah I think this is it for now so it's just a super quick Super simple, not too much going on, but to just kind of add a little bit of color, I guess, in there, just so it's not so boring. And then, yeah, I will go ahead and finish writing and everything that needs to be written in there as time goes on. I'm not, I don't really like necessarily have a lot of stuff to do. Most of my things are like routine things, so they would be things I would write in the weekly section and not so much in the monthly section. So I just try to put like the most important things here. And then during the week, I'll write like trash and Amazon and whatever. Those things kind of go in here that are more just routine. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this quick little plan with me. And I look forward to providing more I guess, planner spreads in the future. If you have any questions or any tips or tricks since I've been out of the planner game for so long, other than have your materials ready ahead of time, <laughs> um, please go ahead and leave those in the comments below. If you have not already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button. And don't forget to leave a comment. I'm curious to see what you are doing for the month of May. I know Mother's Day is coming up on May 8th. Do you have any plans? I don't have any plans because my kid is in the Air Force. So I may take myself to lunch or breakfast or something. I don't know. Um, so we'll see. <laughs> but as of right now, I don't have any plans. So, you know, we'll just kind of have to celebrate it at the end of the month when I get to go down there and visit him. We'll celebrate Mother's Day and his birthday all at the same time, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to start rambling. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.